Hi friends, here in this video we are going to see the displacement diagram for UARD motion that is uniform acceleration and retardation. So let's get started. That is for uniform acceleration and retardation. Now here my assumption is that the height of the follower travel, I am assuming it to be 6 cm, it can take any other value as well. This is just an assumption for this displacement diagram. The height as 6 cm. So this is the lift also called as the stroke of the follower. After this, I am assuming the outstroke that is the angle turned by the cam during the outstroke as 60 degree and that I am taking plotting as 6 cm over here and dividing it into 6 equal parts. So I am assuming the outstroke at 60 degree, it can take any other value as well. And now I have divided it into 6 equal parts, giving the notation starting with 0. Then after outstroke, I am assuming the dwell which is of 30 degree and there is no need to divide the dwell. So dwell I am just plotting it over here. first dwell which is 30 degree then return stroke also I would be assuming same as out stroke for simplicity so here it can take any other value as well taking it as 6 cm and dividing it, it into 6 equal parts like I have divided the out stroke and giving the same notations like here it is 6 in the reverse order 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 and 0 then after return stroke adding up all these values will give me the answer as 150 so from 360 when I subtract 150 the answer is 210 degree that is for the remaining dwell and no need to show it completely so I am showing it with the help of a broken section that is the second dwell And now, how to plot the diagram for UARD that is uniform acceleration and retardation starting with the outstroke. The first step would be take the midpoint of this outstroke here it is 3 and project a light vertical line from that midpoint. Then the next step would be divide this lift or outstroke into 6 equal parts in a similar manner like outstroke and return stroke were divided. So taking 1 1 cm divisions, dividing it into 6 equal parts and giving the notations over here like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. In a similar manner, I would be dividing this vertical line as well. So since it is 6 cm, just projecting the divisions. And now from 0 up to this midpoint towards this end I am drawing a diagonal. This is the procedure which needs to be followed for UARD motion. A light diagonal. Then whatever the lines are there below this diagonal would be connected to this 0. and the points which are there above the diagonal would be connected on this opposite end. 
Now I am giving the same notations to this line which I had projected from the midpoint. At the bottom it is 0 starting from here this is 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th and 6th at the top and at the bottom this is 0. So now I would be projecting this point 1 upward and where it intersects this line which is connecting 0 and 1 would give me the first point. So this is the first point. Similarly 2 would be projected up and where it connects 0 and 2 would give me the second point. Next year 3 and 3. So this is at the midpoint. Already we have point 3. Then for 4 it would be projected up to the fourth diagonal here. Then point 5 would be projected up to the fifth diagonal and then we have point 6. Now all these points need to be connected in a proper sequence with the help of a curve and that would indicate the UARD motion. So I am just connecting all the points in order. This indicates the UARD motion during the outstroke and to explain it I am assuming a knife edge follower. At first it will be at this bottommost position that is at 0. Then at this first point with UARD it is moving. Then at this second location, 3rd, 4th, 5th and finally at the top at 6th. So in this way the follower is going to move during the outstroke that is 60 degree of cam rotation and reach a maximum position that is the lift. After that it will remain at that position for the remaining 30 degree of cam rotation so it is dwell at the same position and then it will start to return and for that I will follow the same procedure that is projecting a line from the midpoint a light line then I will divide this vertical line also into 6 equal parts in a similar manner and already, already I can have the divisions as well. So dividing it into 6 equal parts and next I would be connecting the diagonal since it was ascending during the outstroke the diagonal was in an increasing form now it should go in a decreasing manner it should decline because it is return stroke returning to the original position. Next whatever the points are there below this diagonal would be connected to point O. And whichever the points are there above would be connected over here. Where the dwell ended. Now I will give the notations in a similar manner like I have given for the outstroke. So this would remain at the position which is 6, then 5, 4, 3 will remain at the midpoint, 2, 1 and finally at 0. So here 5 would be projected up where it cuts this diagonal which is connecting 5 that would give me the point for the return stroke. Next for 4 passing from point 4, 3 is already there at the midpoint. Next for 2 I will be projecting it upwards then for 1 and finally at 0. So joining all these points in order would give me the return stroke or the follower return and connecting with the help of a smooth curve. So this is the follower return with UARD motion and it will look something like this. The knife edge follower is returning by following these points and finally to its original position at 0 and then it will remain at this position for the remaining 210 degree which is the second dwell. So this in this video we have seen how to draw the displacement diagram for UARD motion 
Now, outstroke and return stroke both were having UARD motion. Suppose in the problems we can have UARD either in outstroke or return stroke, or it can be both. So we have seen the method how to plot it for you by using the UARD method, which indicates the follower motion. At the end, if you'll find my videos helpful, you can like, share, comment, and subscribe our channel and share it amongst your family and friends. Thanks for watching.